Four stages every expert has gone through. 1. Unconscious incompetence. 2. Conscious incompetence. 3. Conscious competence and. 4. Unconscious competence. A discussion between Manish and Mani. Mani, Papa, I've been hearing a lot about these different stages of competence in various fields. Can you explain how they relate to stock market trading and a trader's journey? Manish, of course, Mani Beta. These stages of competence apply to many areas of life, including stock market trading. Let me break it down for you. The first stage is unconscious incompetence. In this stage, a trader is unaware of their lack of knowledge and skills in stock market trading. They may be overconfident and think they know more than they actually do. Mani, so, it's like when someone thinks they can start trading without understanding the basics? Manish, exactly. They may jump into trading without proper education or research, which can be risky. However, as they start trading and gaining experience, they move to the second stage, conscious incompetence. Mani, what happens in the conscious incompetence stage? Manish, in this stage, traders become aware of their lack of knowledge and skills. They realize that successful trading requires more than just a hunch or luck. They start understanding the importance of learning and seek out resources to educate themselves about the stock market. Mani, so, they become aware of what they don't know and actively try to fill those gaps? Manish, yes, that's right. They may enroll in courses, read books, or seek guidance from experienced traders. As they acquire knowledge and practice trading, they enter the third stage, conscious competence. Mani, what does conscious competence mean for a trader? Manish, in this stage, traders have developed the necessary knowledge and skills to trade effectively. However, they still need to consciously apply their knowledge and strategies while making trading decisions. They analyze market trends, use technical indicators, and manage risk consciously. Mani, so, they are skilled traders, but they need to actively think and make deliberate decisions. Manish, absolutely. With experience, practice, and continuous learning, traders eventually progress to the fourth stage, unconscious competence. Mani, what does unconscious competence mean? Manish, in this final stage, traders have mastered their skills to a point where trading becomes almost second nature to them. They have internalized their knowledge and developed intuition. They can quickly and effortlessly analyze market conditions and make effective trading decisions without conscious effort. Mani, that sounds amazing. Is that the ultimate goal for every trader? Manish, well, it's a highly desirable stage to reach, but it takes time, dedication, and a commitment to ongoing learning. Many experienced traders strive for unconscious competence, but it's important to remember that the market is constantly evolving, and there's always something new to learn. Mani, I see. So, it's a journey of continuous improvement and learning. Manish, exactly. The journey from unconscious incompetence to unconscious competence requires patience, perseverance, and a passion for learning. Remember, it's essential to have a strong foundation of knowledge and skills before venturing into the stock market and to continuously adapt to changing market conditions. Mani, thank you, Papa. I have a better understanding now. I'll make sure to focus on learning and building my skills if I ever decide to trade in the stock market. Manish, that's great to hear, Mani Beta. Remember, knowledge is power, and the more you learn, the better equipped you'll be for any challenge that comes your way. Manish, certainly, Mani Beta. I'd be happy to share my own journey through the four stages of competence in stock market trading. I began my journey in the stage of unconscious incompetence. Like many beginners, I had a naive belief that I could easily make money in the stock market without much effort or knowledge. I made some impulsive trades based on rumors or tips I heard without fully understanding the underlying fundamentals or technical analysis. However, as I experienced losses and realized that trading was not as easy as I initially thought, 
I moved into the stage of conscious incompetence. I became aware of my lack of knowledge and skills in trading. I realized that successful trading required a deeper understanding of the market, risk management, and various trading strategies. To progress, I actively sought out educational resources such as books, online courses, and mentorship. I studied market dynamics, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and risk management principles. I began to practice trading with a simulated trading account to gain hands-on experience without risking real money. Gradually, I entered the stage of conscious competence. I had acquired a solid foundation of knowledge and skills, and I was able to make informed trading decisions. I analyzed charts, conducted thorough research, and developed trading strategies based on my understanding of market patterns and indicators. However, it still required conscious effort and concentration to apply my knowledge effectively. Over time, with consistent practice and gaining more experience, I eventually reached the stage of unconscious competence. Trading became second nature to me. I developed a strong intuition and the ability to analyze market conditions quickly and accurately. I was able to make decisions almost effortlessly, relying on my years of experience and the knowledge I had internalized. It's important to note that even in the stage of unconscious competence, I continue to learn and adapt. The market is constantly evolving, and new strategies and technologies emerge. Staying updated and continuously expanding my knowledge is crucial to remain successful in trading. Remember, Mani Beta, every trader's journey is unique, and the time it takes to progress through these stages may vary. The key is to stay committed to learning, practice consistently, and maintain a growth mindset throughout your trading career.